Hi, Disney fans. I'm Hunter. And I'm Lisa. And today, we're taking you on a magical journey behind the scenes of Disney's epic new musical comedy, Wish. This is D23 Inside, Inside Disney. Disney. With a nod to Walt Disney's legacy as the company celebrates 100 years, Wish welcomes audiences to the Kingdom of Rosas, where we meet Asha, voiced by Oscar winner Ariana DeBose. Who makes a wish so powerful, it's answered by a cosmic force, a little ball of boundless energy called Star. Together they confront a powerful foe, the ruler of Rosas, King Magnifico, voiced by Chris Pine. I wish we could learn more about how this incredible story came to be. <laughs> Me too. Well, let's grant that wish and find out. Hey everyone, we are so excited. We're joined with Ariana DeBose, the voice of Asha and Wish. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. I love this movie. I love the role. How did you feel about it when you first heard about it? Was there a moment where you're like, I have to do this? Falling immediately, because I was a Disney kid. So um, it just, it's been wonderful and exciting and humbling and a little overwhelming, because you know I, I, I wanted it to be beautiful. And, and impactful. And I'm, I really hope that people walk away feeling that, you know, your wishes, they are powerful. So incredible. You're, you're, you're talking about impact, just like the beauty, the meaning behind this, and so much of that is in the songs. Yes. So what was it like getting to sing those and then I mean, is there a favorite that you have that, just for today at least you can say is my favorite today? <laughs> oh my God, I know, because that really is the thing, what's the favorite today? Yeah. <laughs> um, when I first they heard this wish, I immediately cried because I thought it was so beautiful, such a simple, powerful melody, and then I started to panic because I was like, wait, I have to sing this. And not only does it have to be good because it's the song, but it's hard. <laughs> I was so honored to have been asked to sing this because I also just feel kind of like an inherently nervous vocalist. So this required me to step out of my own comfort zone and, and just go for it. And every song is so different and requires a different, I call it color, you know? Like where this wish might feel like magenta and, and teals and blues, like, you know, knowing what I know now feels like maroons and reds and oranges. And it was really fun to explore that part of myself. And I think if you asked me like yesterday, I probably would have said, this is the thanks I get with my favorite song. But today, my I was bopping out to, I'm a star, watch out, well, here I are. Like, but they're all so beautiful. There really is so much magic, like you're talking about. And even hearing how you felt a little hesitant or nervous or anything like what? that, you would never know that. And hearing it, we want to keep singing it and singing it and singing it. Truly magical. Thank you. Speaking of that, you referenced, it's such a celebratory time for Disney animation. So, I mean, how is that resonating with you now that the movie is about to come out and that you're a part of that moment? Well, I'm so thrilled that I get to be a part of that moment, first of all, and it's it's so nice to just come into a community and feel joy. You know, I think we need joy and hope and inspiration right now, and the holidays are coming up, so of course, let's, let's just like double that and then triple it. Like. Just keep amplifying those feelings, and 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 then I think that'll make for a perfect New Year, don't you think? Um, but it, it's exciting. It's really thrilling to to be a part of this, to see Asha fully manifest, joining the ranks of all these Disney legends and icons. Terrifying, absolutely thrilling too. <laughs> You've definitely inspired everyone to be a star. Thank you so much, Ariana Debose. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now with Jennifer Lee, Chief Creative Officer at Walt Disney Animation Studios and writer and executive producer of Wish. Jennifer, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you for being here. I'd love to know how this story came about. Was it always tied to the 100th anniversary? It actually was in that it was, Chris Buck and I started talking five years ago while we were still finishing Frozen 2 about realizing we'd be 105 years. Our film process takes about five years normally, so we said we better get started, we're late. Um, and what do we want to do? And we knew we wanted to do a fairy tale, but we said, how do we do something that's an homage to the past, but also contemporary, so let's make it an original fairy tale. We knew we wanted it to be a musical. We knew we wanted to celebrate a new kind of look, one that celebrates the artistry of our entire legacy, but also is, is using the most contemporary technology we could and moving forward. But to get started, it wasn't until we really started recognizing 
the power of wishing in all of our films. Whether it's a want song or a wishing upon a star, it's such an active, powerful thing. It's, it's part of the human experience, unlike anything else, and with it comes a lot of great possibilities, but a lot of uh, struggles. And that, to me, said, well, there's a fairy tale in that. So. What a powerful message. So many great people worked on this. The, the music is so catchy. Julia Michaels, Benjamin Rice, what, what drew you to them? Well, it, it was Tom McDougall, who's our head of music, who um, had been working with Julia. She had done um, some work on Ralph Breaks the Internet. Hmm. She has been writing professionally since she was a teenager and knows how to write songs for other people, not just her own. So she's a, you, you have to be an incredible collaborator. So um, she wrote This Wish. Uh, at the very beginning of, of this journey, and it became my true north for writing. And she, because she's written songs for other people, when we would collaborate from writer to writer um, about a song, it was a dream because she would take all this inspiration and she would come back with something so incredible that re-inspired the story in new ways. Um, so she was a dream, yeah. I didn't realize how almost symbiotic that relationship of the, the songwriting is influencing the script. Can you talk yeah. a little more about the process of writing a script? Yeah. Uh, uh, writing a movie like this, I don't even know where you, <laughs> I, I would begin. You you come to understand the dilemma of chicken and egg yeah. <laughs> when you work on a musical because <laughs> you, I always do a first rough pass and I've worked with Alison Moore, who's a fantastic writer too, so we would collaborate on the big ideas or character moments and start to spot the things where, the, we always say when the emotion is strong enough to sing, that's a clue. Mm -hmm. But also, the songs in a Disney musical need to drive the story forward. So it's not enough to have an emotion. You, you have to have it integrated into the storytelling. So what tends to happen is a lot of this back and forth of, I can put what's going on in the character's head. What is she feeling at this point? Where does she need to start and end? What is the whole sense of what this could do for the film? Yeah. And that begins the conversation with the songwriter who then can bring back their own ideas and I love that moment where they say I've got something and you just know you're like okay we're golden <laughs> that's all they have to say is I think I've got something yeah <laughs> what, is, what is your wish for this film most importantly I hope what this film is is for everyone out there can reconnect with their wish feel that it's worth pursuing and whenever they have hard times they can go to this film the way I used to go to Cinderella who helped me through some hard times being bullied they could go to this film and this film can be there to give them the hope and remind them to keep going I think this film's going to give people a lot of hope oh great that's great <laughs> thank Jennifer thank you so much thank for you. talking to me today it's great to talk to you well, we're here now at Disney California Adventure Park, where there are even more ways to celebrate Wish, like visiting the Animation Academy, where you can learn to draw some of the incredible characters from the film. And now showing at Disney California Adventure, immerse yourself in the City of Rosas with a special Wish pre-show for World of Color, Season of Light. It's a nighttime spectacular that you won't want to miss. It was so incredible, dare I say, magical. And you know what? The magic of Wish is soaring just like Star throughout the Disneyland Resort. Speaking of stars, just across the way at Disneyland Park, Ariana DeBose recently performed one of my all-time favorite songs from the film. So I look up at the stars to guide me And throw caution to every warning sign If knowing what it could be is what drives me Then let me be the first to stand in line So I make this wish Ariana DeBose also performed this wish under the stars at Disneyland Paris, which you can watch in full on ABC's The Wonderful World of Disney Magical Holiday Celebration on November 26th.
All right, now that was something more for us. Yeah, that was awesome. And knowing what I know now, I'm even more excited for our next guest. We're here with Chris Buck and Fawn Vera Sunthorn, directors of Wish. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Chris, you started working on this project all the way back in 2018. Yeah. What really appealed to you about this story? Honoring the legacy of Disney Animation is something that has meant so much to me for all these years. You know, Pinocchio was my favorite movie, first movie I saw in the theaters as a kid. It's the movie that got me into animation and propelled me to this. So, and I've loved all the Disney movies ever since. So that was the, to me, it's an honor to be here. It's, it's an amazing film. Um, Fawn, a hundred years of Walt Disney Animation. How did it feel to be brought on to such a, a landmark film for Walt Disney Animation? It's exciting to be on this project, you know, because I grew up with Disney films and I have been so inspired by many of the classic films. It's what made me want to draw. And to be able to be here and be able to put all those aspects of the films I love, things like hope, joy, imagination, all into which it's just been a blast. I, I love the story of this movie and I love all the references too. Um, the visual style is amazing. How did you go about achieving that look, that unique look? It, it started with the desire once again to honor our, our legacy, but also, also embrace the technology we have today. Yeah. Those beautiful watercolor style they had back then, it felt like you're just opening up this storybook and these great illustrations. So our excitement was like, okay, well now we have this CG medium and we can not just open it up, but we can go into that book and move around it, uh, move around these illustrations, these gorgeous things. So that was the excitement. It was a challenge, obviously, and then to make sure that also our characters match that whole style. So we also did it widescreen, like Sleeping Beauty. It's never, we haven't done it since Sleeping Beauty. Wow. Um, but you can really see, it's almost like every frame is a gorgeous illustration. I was blown away. It, it felt like an instant classic to me. Even a lot of these songs, I was hearing them for the first time when I saw it, and I, it felt like, oh, do I know this song? Like, it's just, <laughs> can you talk a little bit about how important the music is to this movie? Yeah. Yeah, music has been in the Disney DNA, right? It's what makes the film so memorable mm -hmm. from one generation to the next. And each song has such a unique identity and the sound and the vibe, they're all different, but somehow they tie together. And you just can't help but smile when you listen to, to these songs. I've had these songs stuck in my, my <laughs> head. This is the thanks I get, like I just, over and over again. And the, the, the vocal performances in this movie, I mean, Chris Pine, Ariana DeBose, Alan Tudyk, can you talk a little bit about them? What was like working with them? Oh, well, each one of them was incredible. They brought so much of themselves into the characters. A lot of improv. Of course, Alan Tudyk, you know, we've worked with for years. <laughs> Alan Tudyk, you give him like one line and then he just goes, you know. Like run, run free. <laughs> and, but they all did that, you know, and, and they bring that, that sort of uniqueness and, you know, um, specificity to each character. So it wasn't just, you know, written off the page. Mm -hmm. They really brought the, the character to life. Yeah, I, I feel like I knew these characters by the time yeah. the movie was over. Yeah. W what is your wish for the film? What are you hoping audiences take away? It's full of so many wonderful messages. You know, I think a lot about the premiere and the energy I felt being yeah. there, everyone laughing together, having such yeah. a great time. That, that I hope that people experience this film in theaters. Think about you know your past traditions of watching Disney films with your family during the holiday season. That people were able to come back together and sing along <laughs> if they want to, but basically to watch a story about hope and imagination and the reminder that there's a stardust in each and every one of us that you have that power to pursue your dream. Uh, I'm t I teared up when I saw it and I'm tearing up now. <laughs> so good. Thank you so much. Congrats on an amazing film. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. being with us on the journey. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now you can tap into your inner Magnifico with confidence. <laughs> Hunter, you know what? My special wish is to see what it's like voicing a character in a Disney animated film. Well, Lisa, our friends at Walt Disney Animation Studios are willing to show us how it's done and maybe even let us try it out for ourselves. Valentino, don't eat that! <gasps> yeah! That was great! It didn't work! Wonderful magic happened! Oh. I'm talking. I am talking. Ha! 
Who knew my voice would be low? I'm talking! I am talking! Ha! Who knew my voice would be this low? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, now that was a dream come true. And voice acting is just one important part of the filmmaking process. It takes the collaboration of many talents to create an animated film of such magnificent scope, and we spoke with two of those talents, Wish producers Peter Del Vecco and Juan Pablo Reyes Lancaster Jones. First off, I love this movie so much. Walt Disney Animation itself always pushes the limits. You're always trying to create something new. So was there anything about this that was unique to the filmmaking process to bring this film to life? It's that marriage of, of technology. I mean, Walt himself was always about uh, pushing the envelope and exploring new technologies. And, and we worked on a lot of shorts here, Paper Man, Feast, uh, Far From the Tree. Uh, and how could we take what we learned from that, apply it to this movie and scale it up to be done on a feature? Oh, so incredible. And I will say as a fan myself, everything that you're talking about, there's so many Easter eggs in there and it's like a feast for the eyes. Like you're saying, Peter, on the big screen, that's how you have to experience it. Is there anything that you can tell us about an Easter egg in there that you're just like, ooh, we made sure to add that in there? Well, the, the Disney references are in every form, you know? It comes from even character design, like the character of Star having the same face mask as Mickey Mouse. There's a ton of hidden Mickeys. There's a very obvious one, but that's not the only one. There's a lot of hidden Mickeys and the green magic, the stardust being reminiscent of the pixie dust, and mm -hmm. it all came in a very organic way from writing to animation, and everyone put what they thought was correct for the moment. Yeah, if, if, if you've never seen a Disney movie, the movie plays on a perfect level, you don't need to notice any of that. But for fans, there's enough there that you're gonna wanna watch the movie uh, more than once. It inspired my outfit today. I had to dress <laughs> up a star, kind of. Yes, <laughs> Thank you both yeah. so much for the time today. I can't wait to see the film again, and for oh. fans to check it out as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Lisa, this film is so full of humor and heart, but why don't you see for yourself? Here's a special clip. Thanks to our friends here at Walt Disney Animation Studios. Are you okay, Asha? Something's up with you. What are you hiding? Oh, nothing! Life is to be lived. And nobody! What is going on in there? Why are you all sweaty? You can tell us anything! Move! Or we break the door down! No, 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 no. Fine, fine. Last night, after everything happened, I made a wish on a star. What are you, five? And the star answered. That's it, ladies, your wings can't fly, but your voice is Hunter, I love everything about Wish. The animation, the music, the characters. And it caps off the Disney 100 celebration so perfectly. But the festivities don't have to stop here. Why not bring the fun home by becoming a D23 Gold member? You'll receive this year's D23 Gold Member Collector Set featuring the Mickey Mouse Leader of the Club Milestone statue. Plus, your choice of a special membership card designed from the worlds of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. And of course, the quarterly Disney 23 publication. It's all available to new and renewing D23 Gold members. To find out more about the set and the benefits of being a D23 Gold member, visit joind23.com. And remember to get your fix of all the latest magic from around the worlds of Disney, including amazing behind the scenes stories from celebrities and creatives. Check out the D23 Inside Disney podcast, available at d23.com slash inside Disney and all finer streaming platforms, as seen at the bottom of your screen. Thanks so much for watching, and don't miss Wish, coming to theaters November 22nd. From all of us here at D23, best, best wishes. wishes.